In this video we are going to talk about the two main techniques to reattach the retina during vitrectomy for the repair of regmatogenous retinal detachment. As you may know, the vitreous should be detached and a complete vitrectomy should be achieved. After that, we have a, an eye with a detached retina and we must find a way to reattach it. There are two main techniques. First, you may drain the fluid through the existing tear or create a retinotomy. Drainage through, through an existing tear is very rarely used because that can cause incomplete drainage or retina folds. Most commonly, the surgeon creates a small retinotomy, more posterior, in an area of large fluid in order to drain the subretinal fluid. That technique has the advantage that the surgeon does not need to use additional fluids like peripheral carbon. However, cases of scotoma or PVR on the site of retinotomy have been described. The second technique is the use of peripheral carbon or heavy liquid in order to push the retina back in place and push the subretinal fluid back to the vitreous cavity. That technique has the advantage that can be used in any type of detachment, especially for cases of PVR or large peripheral tears. The disadvantage of the use of peripheral carbon, there can be post-operatively subretinal migration of peripheral carbon or residual peripheral carbon inside the vitreous cavity or anterior chamber. Which technique is better? Probably both techniques have similar efficiency and we discuss the pros and cons. Recently, evidence have appeared that the need of reoperation may be more frequent with the use of preferred carbon. However, there can be a bias because we usually use preferred carbon for more severe cases. So you know now the two possible techniques to re reattach the retina, a small retinotomy or the use of preferred carbon liquid. See you in the next video.